We return. We come again. Log in with Asmon Gold bald. So this is my character right now. I'm level 28. I have pretty much all my recommended gear. Oh, wait, what, what? Wait, what? Can I equip all this? No, I'm not going to wear that. Because I want you guys to be able to see my face, man. I want you to know it's me. Is there a transmog in this game? Yes, there is. Uh, is there anything special that I get level 30? Oh, wait. I, as I do my ascendancy at level 30, right? Oh, shit. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Okay, let's talk to her. Oh, this is the guy. So we had to go meet the, uh, the sylphs. And, uh, and talk to them. I see no reason to delay your mission any farther. Upon your arrival at Little Solace, seek out a little sylph by the name of Kamuxio. He served as an intermediary. Uh, Hawthorne has furnished you with some of those Maldorous roots that the sylphs adore. So basically, we have to give them weed in order for them to like us. That's pretty much where we're at. Let's go speak with Amwain. Let's go talk to him. All right, now let's see. Where do I need to go? I have to go over to Little Solace. Oh, I can just get on my mount. I just get on little Mr. Mount. Little Mr. Mount. Whenever I hit 30, I become a warrior. Like, I'm so hoping that's going to be awesome. All right, Kamuxia, let's see here. So this is one of these sylphs. What the fuck? What are these walking salad? Ain't oh, These are walking salad aliens. Oh, great. Walking one is not familiar with this one. Oh... This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story. So this guy wants me to dance for him. Okay. What up, bro? You like the you like those feet, man? This one would like to warm welcome into the one who moves with these ones. Wow, this is going to be a really great diplomacy. It's a great act of diplomacy. This one is busy, so walking one should speak with the quick tongue. Okay. How do I do that? Deliver the milk route. Okay. I will give you my milk, Kamuxia. And there we go. Walking one brings milk root. Milk root bring, fills this one with great joy. What is this, a village full of Yodas? Just talk like a normal goddamn person. Oh. Walking one carries a message for the elder one. This one will deliver the message to the elder one. Walking one should not worry. I am worried. Oh, it's our friends. It's some of the scions. We are envoys from Gridania, and we're here to treat your people. Treat Here to treat with your people. I uh, come to pay our respects to your elder and learn from him of your lord, Rama. Who are these ones? The walking ones come from Gridania. The walking one became dancing one and brought milk away. The walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. Bro. Wait, so the other scions are cock blocking me? I'm just trying to talk to the cabbage. This one will speak no more. Elder is busy. Walking one should go home. Go home, you say? But the sylphs of Little Solace have always welcomed guardian envoys with open wings. The letter carried to Asmogold here is an oath of peace penned by the elder sincere himself. Would you still refuse us? This one's reasons are of no business of the walking ones. Elder one has no words for Gridania. Walking ones waste everyone's time. Well, rude. Turned away at the gates. Whatever we did to d deserve such a rude welcome. Was Asmongold's jig insufficiently jiggy? Nah, bitch. It's because you showed up. Everything was going fine until you got here. I didn't get jiggy with it. Say, Asmongold, are you in the mood for dancing? Oh, my God. Dance. How's that? Do you like me? Do you, are you, do you like me now? Oh, walking one knows jolly dance. Oh, good. Okay. Wait, why are we- why are we becoming friends with these people who all they do is dance? Like, is this really an ally that we need to have? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of Little Solace. The better news? Why, I've thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. Uh, tales of good deeds spread quick. Sylphs who make their home in Little Solace have been driven from the woodland home. Okay, so I just have to fuck some shit up. Oh my god. Lazy Lawrence. Okay, let's go. Oh shit. Wait, this is an actual boss. This thing's got a lot of health. Oh my god. Let's go. I'm gonna take Lawrence the fuck out. Okay, all right, big damage. Big dick on Lawrence. Big dick on Lawrence. Let's go. Wait. Did popping my cooldown negate my combo? I, dude, I don't know where he's facing. I don't even know if I am facing the right way at all. 
Oh shit, we got fungi. Okay, all right, I need to start. Okay, I'm gonna overpower. I'm gonna overpower to cleave. Oh my god, this, this guy's getting destroyed. Holy fuck. Nice, dude. Oh wow, I got high potion. Oh, I got a healing potion, and I also got seals and some money. Well, fuck yeah. I really like this area. I think this is one of my favorite areas so far. The way that you go through, like, the tunnels and everything, and you have, like, these tree guys everywhere. Like, this place is cool, man. I, I like this area a lot. Where is Coaxio? There he is. Bro, look at his name. I am never saying that name. Okay, all right. Oh, shit. Duty calls. Commence battle for brotherly love. Okay. I am the savior of the fairies. Meddling one is back. This one told meddling one to be gone. Tell Kamuxio that this one will never go back. Never. He's mad. Look at his face. Touched ones. Touched one should go away too. This one is this one is a good one. Everyone should just leave this one alone. Oh no. They're gonna get his ass. They've been tempered, brought under the thrall. Oh wait. So they got mind controlled the same as that other guy got mind controlled by the other primal. So they oh, okay, so these so we have to kill them. All right, let's do it. All right, big damage. Big numbers, let's go. I'm just going to cleave the fuck out of them, man. There's no reason not to. Use my defenses too, might as well. Dude, these things have yeah, huge damage, man. Huge damage. 83. Dude, I'm hitting 83s, bro. One of them's already almost dead. These mobs are easy to kill. This isn't even hard. Why would I be worried about anything, man? Oh. Oh, that's one. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, I guess I should kill this one first, right? And then I'll, I'll focus on the next one afterwards. Oh, I can triple combo now. Okay, that thing should be dead. There we go. Nice. All right, let's get on this guy. Here we go. I do big cleave damage. Massive cleavage. Nice. He's running. He's running. Run, bitch. Run, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you running, bitch? This one is safe. This one is so scared. Coaxio. This one's been worried. So very worried. Is Coaxio unharmed? Still in possession of wits? Kamuxio. And meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Coaxio. The Coaxio safe fills this one with joy. Kamuxio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from Little Solace. This one was just afraid. These ones who live at Little Solace were changing, becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that these ones were forgetting who these ones are, like the touched ones did. But this one is wrong. This one can see this now. This one is grateful. This one returned to Little Solace with Camuccio and their friendly ones. Well, that should see to that. Let's say we return to Little Solace as well. I, for one, could do with a high, not nice hot little bath. Uh. All right, Camuccio, what do I have to do? Hello. This one bought Coaxio was lost forever. They saved Coaxio, and they can be a family again. All right, good. Break. Helpful one will bring these wa these ones and walking ones one step closer together. Good. Well, great. But elder one, elder one is. Oh no. He did the crying emote. Kamuxio would like to make a confession with you. All right. You must ask kind one's forgiveness. This one made promise to take kind one to elder one. Yes, but this one cannot. This one cannot because elder one is not here. Elder One is not anyone. Anywhere. Elder One went into the forest yesterday, but has not come back. This one is worried. Elder One- oh. Oh, so we have to save the Elder. Okay, I've got to talk to Buck Scaron. Go to Gridania, talk to Buck Scaron. Let's go back over there. Oh, the quest is spirited away. That's an anime. It's a movie. Did I see that one? No, I never did see Spirited Away. Okay, so I've got to go all the way down here. And I've got to go find... Watch this. I, I don't follow the rules, man. I don't go through the gate. I go over the gate. I forgot that I had my mount, man. It's so weird for me to have the mount after not having it. 
sometimes I forget to use it. Like, one day I might try to get, like, all the mounts in this game, but I feel like getting all the mounts in this game will not be as hard as it is in WoW. Well, was that what I thought it was? Give me a second. All right, let me finish this. Well, my adventurer, you have the finest grog and grub in this side of- Eh? Not here to fill your belly, huh? That's right. Wait. It's Pirate Khabib version 2. Uh, hunger news for you. Okay. Yeah, it's Pirate Khabib number 2. Look at that. Uh, woodland scraps look all like short of painting one another red. Okay, cool. So he's racist. He thinks that they all look the same. If you have time, maybe you could stay a while and see what the gods have in store. You never know. You might even stumble across the Sylph Elder yourself. There was no word. There was a word while you were away. Sylphs were seen in the wood, but near no lands of their own. No, this was a place near to here. A place we've never known a sylph to come. Something must have given them cause to venture this far. More than like the missing sylph's elder among them. All right, let's talk. Let's go find Laurentis. He's in South Shroud. Who's this, boy? Who's this little bitch? Who's this little... Oh, bro, this guy. Look at this, this stupid little kid. Can't you see I'm on patrol? Be gone. If you have business with the whalers, take it to the barracks. Yeah, he's the traitor. 100% he's the traitor. Speak with him again. Okay. Where, where, where's bitch ass at? There he is. Bro, he's right next to him, dude. He knows all about it. What do you want? Not now. Time to think patrol rounds and rations would fetch such a price. No more than I deserve, though. This little wonder the Empire has risen to such heights. If only the whalers paid their men their worth. Wait. Oh, shit. This guy's literally here. He's actually bringing in the enemies to help kill me. I just beat his ass. Get the fuck out of here. How did you... I know nothing. I was on patrol. He just appeared. I thought you were working for the Garleans. Man, can we please kill this kid? Speak with Laurentis again. What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck? Oh, Nouveau Riche. Oh! Yeah, that, that means new money. How long do you mean to keep this up? What is it you imagine I've done? Enough. Enough, I say. Oh, that's what Sylvanas is going to say. Then she's going to escape in about uh, a little bit over an hour from now. It's over then, I. I sold maps and rations to the Empire. It, it was I. I meant no harm. I only wanted the coin. Bro, shut the fuck up. He's laughing. What's so funny? Though you do not realize yet how much. Bloody idiot. Did you imagine that you had cornered me? It is not I who was cornered. Garleans, I brought the higher ba- all right. Man, fuck Laurentis. Yep, it's gonna die. Permit me a question, if you will. Are all adventurers so deluded as to believe that they can change the power of Garlmud? Well, yeah, I bought the expansion. It's time for you to die. Such is the cost of fighting with great power, or making it, or remaking it, as we will with Gardenia. Jesus. Wait, who's this? Oh, shit. I got the boys with me. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Big numbers. Big numbers. Let's go. Nice. Oh my god. Look at that, dude. Immediately destroying these guys. Legless Lentress. Alright, now we've got to kill this kid. Bro, they should have fired. No wonder he wasn't getting paid that well. This kid's going down like a bitch. Look at this. Wait, I'm beating up a cripple kid. Nah, man. Look. Actually, fuck this. I'm going back on Lawrence. Let's get back on Lawrence, man. Fuck it. Nice. Big numbers. Big fucking numbers. I'm gonna pop CDs. Look at that. 257. He keeps getting healed there. It's so fucking annoying. Chance to parry. Maybe I can attack from behind. You won't parry. How? How can... How has it come to this? Ah, oh, damn it. Impossible. How did you best the Empire's finest? And with the bandits and poachers at your side, they're your sworn enemies. Why do they fight with you and not against you? But I know the answer all too well, Buck Scaron. This is his doing. His words are, are want to inspire men to act better men than I. Gods, what have I become? What have I done? No. No redemption. I'm sorry. No. 
No. Can't I just kill him, man? Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. I just got everybody killed and I tried to kill you. Oh, man. So, oh. There is something I would like for you to tell Buck Scaron. Tell him Laurentis the Fool says thank you. I feel as though a veil has been lifted before my eyes. Uh, the town's the other direction. I think he just told me that, so I'd let him go. All right, Buck Scaron, alehouse proprietor. So, so Laurentis confessed his crimes. I had just a word from the twin adder. Seems he marched straight into the nest and gave himself up. But let us leave the fates to the twelve. I have other news for you, Asmuel. The Sylph Elder has been found. Let me guess. He's in the dungeon. He's in the dungeon. Yep. That it literally, yep. Oh, look who it is. You know what's really good about this scene? Is the fact that my camera blocks off the Lollafell. Oh, no! Hold your chocobos. Take a deep breath and tell us what's wrong. Nice and slow. Elder one went to Todorok. Oh, this is a new one. Look at that. He's got a special leaf face, but has not returned. This one is worried, so very worried, and you're right to be. The place fair crawls with nasties, waiting to make a meal of anyone daft enough to wander in. What in the seven hells was he thinking, entering that bloody death trap? Elder, ha Elder One had no choice. Imperial Ones were chasing Elder One, so he got chased in there by the Imperials. Okay, uh, go to Thousand Maws and see if Frixo comes to no harm. Peace between man and self rests upon your success. That's a lot of stress, man. All right, here we go. Um, Bio-resistant. By order of Elder Sinseer, the dungeon known as Thousand Maws of Todorok has been placed under the control of what? The Sylph Elder is inside. Are you sure of this? Yes, I'm sure. I've just had to do five quests for it. The smaller parties, I do think... You can get. Like, the smaller a party is, the easier you can make the mechanics. Or, sorry, the more difficult and challenging you can make the mechanics. Wait, what's this here? Oh. There's dragons? Piranha plants? Oh, fuck. The Black Shroud. And there's me right there. All right, boys. All righty, boys. Can I go in here? Oh, accusation chamber door. What the fuck is... Oh! Yo, my bad, boys. My bad. My bad. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, pick up the third mob. Got him. Got him. It's a trap. Uh, that's okay. I'm down to be trapped. Doesn't know. Uh, no, wait. Oh, no. That's our healer, isn't it? Fuck. Okay, sticky. Oh, we have to destroy the webs. Okay, I understand. Got him. That was easy. That's easy. All right, there's nothing even over here. It's just a nice, relaxing, good area. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or not. We're just exploring, okay? We're going down the, the dangerous corridors. Magitek Photocell, okay. Let's click on this one here. We want to loot as many of these as possible. I'm assuming they're going to have some sort of, uh, there's going to be something you have to do at the end of the dungeon. Magitek Terminal. Okay, so this is the boss. Confession Chamber. And now let's click on this. Affix the Magitek protocells to the terminal. Yes. What's a fix? Another affix. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I, okay. I affixed. Who's this? Is this an EZ? Oh my god. Damn, bro. This is easy. Ah. Give me that loot. Give me that loot. Give me that. Okay, fuck that. I don't need that. All right. Now let's go to the next area. Okay, cell mine. Let's kill these things. Got him. Oh, nice. I tagged all three there. Okay, let's keep pulling. Big pulse. Big pulse. Big pulse. Let's kill this one here. Got him. Oh, looks like this next area is a boss. It seems like these purple lines are... I'm 30. In game. And also... That didn't feel as good as it could have. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Here we go. Oh, it's just another little dick boy. It's just another little dick boy. How am I not tagging this thing? Let me just taunt this off. Can I taunt? Okay, there we go. I got it. Oh, taunt has a long cooldown in this game. Okay, so I've got to pay attention better. There we go. Nice. 
Okay, where's the treasure? There it is. Give me the loot. Ah. Okay, let's go down here. Yes? Okay. Oh, so now I know they get fucking... I knew this shit was gonna happen. There we go. Okay, that one's dead. And now I just pick these up here. Fool me once, shame- Ooh! That's a perpy. Where's this thing? Lightning Sprite. Okay, let's kill this here. Thunder. I'm just gonna stun this. It seems, this seems like something that you should just stun. And I interrupt that- I don't know how interrupts work in this game. What is this? Oh, man! Oh, wait, no, I bet he needs that. I'm gonna greed that. Yeah, wins fell cleave. 54. Okay, that'll probably be in like 10 minutes or so. Ooh. I did not mean to start that. Okay. Where's the elder? Is this gonna be him? No. That's not the elder. Darkness. Oh, shit. I don't know what's so funny about, like, the guy laughing and his mouth doesn't move. Like, it's just, it's just something that's really funny about that. The Mighty Slayer of Ephraim now comes to me. Oh, that's me. Why are you backing up? With a countenance that bespeaks understanding and entreating power, the Echo. I must needs choose my words with care. Mayhap I might if I deign to speak in my guest cruel tongue. We meet at last. Okay. I turned it up so you guys can hear it. I am Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to the one true god. Who's that? Yours is a most fantastical tale, truly absorbing. Okay, I know that. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime, and it will soon be dark, bringer of light. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The dark minions. All that stands between this world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The Echo. So they have to kill me in order to summon the evil demons. Well, fuck. Yes. Yours is a most fascinating tale. Shit! Alas, like all good tales, it must needs come to an end. But fear not. Why? Oh, shit. What, is he gonna empower this? Here, feel the presence of evil. What the fuck is going For on? The end of your tale is but the beginning of another. The tale of the crystal's demise. Why do we want to destroy the crystal? Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. We got to beat his ass. We just beat his ass. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Graph a gas a gas. That's easy. Let's go. All right. Fleshy pods. Uh, why are they over there? Okay. Let's just think about what he's supposed to do. Okay. So... I'm assuming this is the boss. I can't stun the boss. I'm going to just try right now. If I can't, no, I cannot stun the boss. Okay. All right. Do not tell me what to do. Okay. Got him. Getting all three. There we go. Big CDs here. Moving out of that. Are they spawning? Because there's two of them that were gone, and two of the mobs spawned. I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm actually, I'm tanking him in the wrong spot. That's my fault. 
pick this one up right here. Wait, his tail. Oh, I beat his tail off. I'm beating his fucking tail off. Okay. Demoralizing shout. Nice. Nice. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. E fucking Z. E motherfucking Z, dude. Yep. Yes. Yes, dude. Give me that big perpy. Give me that perpy, boy. Come on, boys. Come on, let's ski. Wow. I'm a greed. I'm a greed. I'm a pass. Let's see if I get anything. Boys, we... Dude, we popped off. When's the new WoW raid? The new WoW raid should be coming out in a half hour, guys. Maintenance extended. <laughs> of course. That was a good laugh. You know what that means, right? That means that we have more time to get the warrior quest. Let's fucking do it. I'm level fucking 30. I'm ready to go. All right, now what? Where's the guy? What about the elder? Like, I totally forgot all about that. Oh man. You should have caught him, man. That's the elder? Finally, fresh air. Mayhap not so fresh, but better than before. Sinister one is gone. One can leave this awful place. Did the walking one vanish the mini legged one? This one is grateful for you, the walking one. Why do they have legs if they don't walk? Oh, it's a grandma one. This one is called Frixio, eldest of the ones of Little Solace. To dance. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. He's like, oh, God, what have I got myself into? Talk to me, magic crock rock. Oh, shit. Alpha Squad reporting in, sir. Nothing note of late. What? Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all. Where is that accursed elk ha handling? Oh, shit. Is this the guy? Oh, this is the guy. No sign of our wizened friend. I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that search and the perimeter to be expanded? Yes. It's Nero. Yeah, it's, it's the guy the fucking with the weird thing on his head. Absolutely not. We risk eroding the Gradanians to our presence. His Excellency bids us avoid unnecessary confrontation. Well, though I am to admit, I have found no evidence to suggest that Ramon will be gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I a sylph, I should strongly considering finding myself another idol. True. Which reminds me, what are the sylphs we captured? The handful of them seem to be reasonably good health whenever I looked. Apologies. I fear that we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their Ike, their Elkion. Bro. Nah, man. Were you not aware that vegetables bruise easily? Damn! Wait, so they... Oh, they were fucking... Well, mayhap it was a kindness. Better dead in truth than dead in one's own god. Dead to one's own god. I suppose if you... Dude, that's brutal. The Empire are assholes. Dawn is upon us. Be ready to withdraw. That's... Yeah, wow. Useless. We're so close to completion, I can fair taste it, but at this rate... No, I must be patient. Our efforts will bear fruit in due time. Bring down the very heavens who shall challenge the limits of possibility, if not we. But your stall is long fallen. Where our mind doth begin to rise. And it burns so bright. So bright that Lorne Von Balesar. Ultimate weapon. Ooh, ultimate weapon. I like that. I want that. Oh. The walking ones have black hearts and seek only to harm these ones. Walking ones are not to be trusted. Now, now, Noxia, do not pass judgment so hastily. Not all walking ones are alike. Though there are evil ones among the walking ones, there are good ones also. 
Noxic goes, Yeah. Does walking one feel unwell? True. This one would know. What brings walking one to this place? I'm here to save you. Came to one's rescue at Noraxia's bidding. Then this one owes the walking one a debt of gratitude. Okay, now we get to have the answers about Ward Ramua. First, let these ones quit this lightless place. Oh, thank God. Okay, will we turn to little Salas when walking one is ready? Please come and see this one. All right. Fuck yeah. Check while well, I had server delays? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, there's a server delay. Uh, the, the servers are delayed. Damn, she's thick. Okay, let's go out of here. It's like four year time? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Buck Scaron. Tell me the still failed her as well. Thank gods for that. I'm glad Frixo didn't come to any harm. But there I go, tempting fate. Run over the little solace and secure us piece of the sails before aught befalls us. Okay. Wait, look at that chess piece. Oh my god. Bro, I'm gonna look so good with this. Y'all ready? Oh, I'm already 31. Okay, I've got to deliver something to the sylphs. It's a token of gratitude. The wood's not what it once was. The calamity changed the elementals and weakened them. Until their strength is returned, we must lend them ours to keep the woods safe. But ours alone will not be enough. Okay. Okay, let's port to there. And then we're going to do the warrior quest. Wait, you guys really want me to do the warrior quest right now. All right, I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. Let's port back over. Turn it to Lisa Lamensa, and we're gonna be good to go. All right, so let's keep going over to the uh, uh, to the trainer. Damn, dude, it's fucking time, man. It's fucking time, dude. I'm ready to go to work. Warzen Guildmaster, let's do it. All right, uh, Axe Master Warzen appears to have some urgent news for you. Thrill a battle, and I get a new axe. And, oh my god, look at that fucking chess piece, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what's the news? Your confrontation with the beast is at hand. Kujata has made his presence known. Reports place the creature at the northeast of the Red Rooster Stead in the vicinity of the Grey Fleet. There is little more for me to say, but this. Harness all the strength you have built uh, through your labors of sweat and blood and unleash it in fury upon Kujata and his menagerie of scavengers. Seaguard lays abed, trusting in your strength, praying for your victory. The time has come, Asmongold, bald. May your axe strike deep and true. Let's go. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Gotta go fast. Dude, I like how I run. I run like, a, like I want to be somewhere, you know? I like it. Okay, overturned Wayne. Oh, this is the whole thing. Okay. What is it? It's a Wayne. That's a fucking... That's a cart. Just say cart, man. Not Wayne. What the fuck is Wayne? Duty calls commence battle for bringing down the mountain. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Go, let, let's let's fucking go. Yes, yes, it was careless whisper. You're right. Okay, where's the big old bull? Oh fuck! Let's go. I'm ready. Do you think I'm afraid of this guy? I'm not. Holy fuck, dude! That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Oh my god. He think I'm actually he thinks I'm afraid of him, man. He actually thinks I'm afraid of him. Let's go. I'm ready. Defeat Kujata. Let's go, Kujata. Boom, there it is. Man, he's got like no health, dude. He's got no health, bro. Okay, fighting the big boy fighting the little ads. Killing the little ads. Getting out of all that. I'm gonna berserk. I'm berserking. Berserking. There it is. Cleaving. Cleaving. Big cleaving. Big cleaving. Big cleaving. It doesn't matter. I just get right out of that. Okay, he's on it. Be on your guard. He's up to something. No, he's not. He's a bull, man. He ain't gonna do nothing. I'm totally good. 
What was the worst that could happen? More hyenas. Bro, that's not my problem. I'm just chilling. Okay. Doing a little throw there. Boom. Back in. Easy, easy, easy. Where's McChicken? Wait, McChicken's not here. Oh, maybe I can't use him in these areas. Damn, bro. I could have beat him at like level 15. That was a joke. Get him out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here, big boy. Oof. That's how it's done. Asmund go. Yep. Yeah, it, it appears our timing was fortuitous. It sure was. It sure fucking was. We got yeah, we're having barbecue tonight, boys. The axe master carried me here so I could see. Yeah, that's fucking right. You did it. You really did it. Ye, I did do it. That's right. Yep, you know it. Oh. <laughs> Montas, you see? Asmongol killed the bastard. He's finally dead. Damn. Do you reckon I could learn to swing an axe like that? I mean, when I'm bigger, I want to protect folk. Keep them safe from monsters? Oh, shit. This kid wants to be a warrior. Hell yeah. If you train hard, then nothing's beyond your reach, young man. True. That's what I'll do. I'll train every single day. I'll be the strongest hero there ever was. Wow. That's a good boy. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's talk to her. I knew for the first moment that we beat the challenge. Yes, I did too. It is done, Asmongold. You have answered the boy's prayers and upheld the pride of the guild. Hold your head high, Marauder. I should be waiting your triumphant return to Lisa Lamensa. All right, let's head the fuck back over there. All right, oh, this is this is it, dude. This is me getting the quest. Boys, it's been a long time. It's been quite a while, but we're finally here. Wow, what a great game, gentlemen. It's time. It's time. You get the behemoth for achievement rewards? We'll see about that. That was truly a mighty feat, Asmongold. Never have I seen a marauder so dedicated to training, attaining the pinnacle of his discipline. In recognition of your achievements, I, Axe Master Warzion, pass on to you the guild's final technique, the thrill of battle. This skill teaches you to embrace the fear and danger of combat, allowing you to push well beyond the normal limits of your stamina. Though, uh, though the thought brings me both joy and sadness, there is nothing more that I can teach you. May the memories of your time here in the guild sustain you as you strive for even greater heights of perfection. Experience now shall be your tutor. Now, there shall always be greater foes and deadlier challenges on which to test your blade. Of that, I am certain. You enter a realm of our craft in which even I have never set foot. I only hope that whenever you reach the very boundaries of our art, that you will return to share your triumphs with us. Until then, Asmongold, may your axe ever swing true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go ahead and go with the chess piece. There we fucking go, dude. There we fucking go, dude. Oh, shit. I've never seen that before. Is that new? Damn, okay. So, do I, I do this one again, right? Okay, Axe Master Warzone needs an adventurer he can trust. Ah, Asmongold. Just the man I was hoping to see. It's no plain as day that you're uh, no equal in our guild. I have a task to entrust to no order in every marauder. I just received a message from an old comrade in arms of mine who now serves as a guardsman in Ocastra Nostra. It would seem the fighting's grown fierce in those parts and he finds himself in dire need of reinforcements. Mind you, this man is no white-livered whelp. He can wield an axe with the best of them, as evidence as Master Gurjurjus paying good coin for his services. I've sent Solkweb out there to help you. Okay, let's go pour it over there. What did- wait. Is he back for more? It's just a buffalo. 
Wait, so there was all that fucking drama for one buffalo? It's one buffalo. Are you kidding me, man? And they said you can swim in here? Let me see. So if I go out here and I go out into the water. Oh, wow. Wow, you can swim. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Do slash float? Okay. Oh my god. Um. Wow. Oh, fell demon. Wait, fell demon. I don't want to talk to fell demon. Sounds awful. Oh, commence battle with pride and duty. We'll take you from the mountain. Okay, let's go. You're gonna marry a lava fell? No, I'm not. What do I have to do here? Oh shit, Mudbone, thank you much for the 10 gift of community subs. I appreciate that very much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what do I have to do? Oh shit. Wait, what the fuck? Oh shit. We'll get him. What are we doing? Wait, he's on their side? What the fuck's he doing? Damn it all, I well, we must see I'm gonna see to the beasts. A turtle's made it to the water. Okay, it's crazed Arncheleon. Alright, let's kill the first one. Oh, these things have no health. These things have no health. Big numbers here. Big numbers. Big numbers. There we go. There we go. There's already one dead. Perfect. There's another one right there. Got him. The cycle of life can be cruel. It's time to fucking die. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go. Tagging both of these. Get that one over there, too. Might as well. Got him. Okay, now, now we're doing big numbers here. We're doing big numbers here. We'll kill this one first, and then we go to the next one. Nice. Dude, these turtles ain't shit. These turtles ain't shit, bruh. They ain't shit. Look at that, dude. Look at that, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Seven hells, there's no end to them. Wait, I thought they just despawned. I, well, we just killed them, there's four. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I'll see you the shellbacks. You whelps just trying to get end up as turtle grub. Okay. I'm not seeing it's like an- oh my god, look at that. That's a big dick axe. We must do what we can. Alright, let's do what we can. How's combat feel? Combat's good. Oh shit, there we go. Craze Nachodone. Okay, I've got to kill him too. Uh, I don't know if I should help her. Maybe I should help the other ones. Oh shit. We got out of that cast. There we go. Okay, let's kill this one first. Uh, I'll, I'll help her first, okay? I'm gonna simp out and help the girl. Killing this guy, and killing this guy. Perfect. Okay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Got him. That one's dead, too. Got it. Alright, Curious George. What do we do now? Thank you so much, Curious George. That should send them scuttling back to their nests. You can call me Curious... Wait, his name's actually Curious George. One remark about the name and I'll rip your ugly heads from your shoulders and suck the marrow out of your twitching spines. Okay. You two are guards for close to nose drive, I reckon. Yes, we are. Uh, no such. We are the Marauders Guild sent by Axe Master Warzion uh, to, to assist the defense. I'm Sulkweb and this is my comrade Asmongold. From my guild, you say? Well, blow me down and call me Boggy. Have you told me sooner? I have introduced myself with proper respect. You're Asmongold, right? We've only just met, but I've seen your strength not found in ordinary men. What say you unleash the beast within and become a warrior with... Oh, shit. 
Is it about to happen? Are we about to pop off? I think it's about time. Are you ready for carnage? Yes. A warrior, you say? So it was you I saw, brandishing battle techniques I had thought were lost to the sands of time. Lost, perhaps in these parts, but wherever I come from, the way of the warrior is alive and well. My tribe has been handing them down for thousands of years. Yet our numbers dwindle with every new summer, and this is why I left the mountain whenever I was raised to come here. What say you, Asmongold? If you walk the path of the warrior with me, seek me out at Hidden Falls. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's follow the way of the warrior. Let's get that done. Where, where he be at? There it is. Wait, oh, there's... Wait. Oh shit, here's all the other warriors. Oh fuck. All right, guys. Let's do it. Curious George. I knew you would come, Asmongold. Let us begin. Any man can take up an axe and call himself a marauder, but to become a true warrior, he must prove that he can tame the inner beast that guides the blade. I have witnessed your battle with the turtles, and I must say that I was impressed. That sentence is so ridiculous. I, I saw you fighting against turtles, and I was very impressed by the fact that you could defeat the turtles. Yes. Uh, how amazing, guys. What, what, what an incredible fucking, what an incredible battle prowess. You have proven yourself far more worthy of this than I could have ever imagined. Shit. When your inner beast awakens, the runes will resonate further empowering your will and granting you such strength that you have never thought possible. Today, there is cause for celebration, my friend, for you. I have ensured that my tribe's legacy will endure. Yes, it is for this day, this moment, that I came down from the mountain. Thank you, Curious George. Yet, however, or I earn... Yet, yet, however I earnestly pursue my goal, I cannot deny the fear inside me that my mission will ultimately end in failure. For you see, while I style myself a warrior, the truth is that I left the mountains before my training was complete. And while I carry with me the chronicles of my ancestors detailing the ancient arts of war, I lack the ability to fully decipher the text. Yet, there are still many, and there is still maybe hope, for there is another who fled my village, one who shared my dream of passing on the teaching of my tribe, who can read the tome, my brother. Without him, there is little more that I can teach you. This is his brother Harambe uh, that I can teach you at this time. But that will not discourage me from teaching and continuing my studies of the Chronicles, nor shake my belief that further secret secrets will soon reveal themselves for me. Until then, I ask that you use the knowledge that I've passed to you and continue your training. Good luck, my friend. Next warrior cross will be available from Curious George upon reaching level 35. Fuck yeah. What, what was the red thing that I got? Soul crystals are required to change your current class to a more specialized job. Each job has its own crystal, which can be equipped via the armory chest. Okay. Soul of the warrior. Upon the surface of this multi-aspected multi crystal are carved a myriad of deeds of warriors of past eras. Okay. Let's equip. Oh wow, fuck yeah. So I'm now I'm a warrior. While using a job, you will have limited access to actions that, uh, from other classes. However, you will have access to new job specific actions. Job level and attribute bonuses coincide with the base class. Whenever a job level rises, so too does the level of the base class and vice versa. Marauder is the base class. Okay, so now I have extra abilities too. So let me see what my other abilities are. Steel Cyclone. Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta play it. We gotta do that for sure. All right. So now we should go back to this, right? Fell cleave. Yeah, yeah. So I, I go back to this, right? I have to go talk to Black Shroud. From Wow Andy's. Wait, did they cancel the raid? Wait, they didn't cancel the fuck. Shut up. They did not cancel the raid. I, they hot fixed Sylvanas. Yeah, they probably should have added in a new cutscene where she dies. That's what they should have done. Oh. Oh yeah, a walking gift from Buck Scaron. I forgot even I had to do this. This one has been expecting walking one. So this is the grandma, isn't it? Yep, there we go. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these ones.
There you are, Asmongold. We have just been hearing of your deeds and daring to do. Well done. Uh, excuse me, it's Warrior Asmongold now? The Walking Ones are Anorexia. This one is grateful. Yes, absolutely. Pleasure to be at service. This one does not mind. The misadventures, as Walking One tells them, of one began when the Imperial Ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch the Imperial Ones closely. But these ones watched too closely, and the Imperial Ones noticed and tried to capture them. Having nowhere else to hide, I fled into Todorak. Would, uh, would that this one had not to, in Todorak, a sinister one had one robbed, robed in black, tried to feed this one to the many-legged one. So, wait, they tried to feed her to the goddamn spider. Bro, that's fucked up. The sinister one robed in black. Why do I have the feeling that I should be more worried about that than I am? Uh, because I'm going to take care of it and y'all don't need to worry. That's why. Elder Frixo, I would come to you as emissaries of the nature of Gridania. This massive bears the words of Elder Sinseer. This one sees, so walking ones of Gridania are fearful of Lord Remua. Plainly put, yes, your people summoned the Lord of Levin but once, yet that single occurrence occasioned great alarm. But it's not as if the Gridanians dislike you or anything, actually it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, but they just don't want you summoning a primal Lord of death and destruction into their area and having everybody die. Yeah, we understand it. Uh, everybody does. They think of you as friends, and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. That's why Elder Sincere wrote to you. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, right? This one knows and respects the Horn One El uh, Khan and Sunna. Be assured, the Walking Ones of Gridania, these ones have no desire of conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Ramua to protect the wood from the Imperial Ones. This one counseled against doing so, but was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Ramua was summoned, and all those who took part became touched ones. Oh, shit. Oh, that's him? Oh, fuck. These ones want so desperately to turn, uh, to turn touched ones back to normal one, but they did not know how, and still do not know how. Touched ones, meanwhile, want to turn these ones into touched ones, and they did know how. So this one fled to Little Solace with all the ones who did not wish to be turned or bound toward Ramuth. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear the touched ones or the Lord Ramuth. Unlike the other primal ones, Lord Ramua is not callous or cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on those ones' ancestral homeland where he, the touched ones reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. God damn. That's quite a whole lot. A thunderous judgment. But this one has spoken shit. Sorry. By way of a bend mortals who tempered a take on the qualities emboldened by the primal in question, in the case of the Sylphs, Ramua's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're too hostile to trespassers. What about the abductions? Yes, the abductions. Expression of tempered Sylphs' desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with Ramua. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold, a timely reminder that the challenges posed posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixo, we thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to the horned guy. All right, let's do it. We're going back to Waking Sands and tell Milfina all about it. All right, let's do it. Fear not, we will be sure to mention the instrumental part that you played in all of this. Please wait, Walking One Asmongold. This one has yet to give Walking One a token of one's appreciation. Oh, another crack rock. Fuck yeah, dude. With these, some, with these ones summoned Lord Ramua, these ones were gifted the crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon the walking one as if a symbol of one's trust. Am I going to have, like, PTSD whenever? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, now what? Oh. And that's my third one, right? Oh, wow. Three to go. Gasp. This one was not mistaken about walking one. Walking one is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one could imagine. A brilliant light from within walking one enveloped the crystal as was once saw. Mark this one well. That crystal will one day be of use to walking one. Walking one must keep that crystal safe at all times. So now what do I have to do? Oh, it's my cell phone. Hello? It's me, it's Milfina. Yayo and Pagra have returned some a uh, while ago, and they wasted no time regaling me in your tale of your exploits. Thanks in large to part of you, uh, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yeah, at the end of one tale is to serve another. Pray return to the waking sands in your earliest convenience. I would appraise you of the present situation in person. Shit. Okay, all right, let's head over there. We gotta get the fuck back over to Milfina as soon as possible. Glamour quest? I, I like having different armor. Like, if I just transmog all my shit together, I like the visual progression. I think that's cool. Especially early on, man. Oh, God. Not you again. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you want? If it isn't my favorite adventurer, welcome back. Lady Milfina awaits you within the solar. All right, let's go. Enter the Waking Sands. Yes, I would like to enter the Waking Sands. Let's go to... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Redditor. I am given to understand that the matter of Ramua has finally been resolved. True. If it resolved, this bespeaks performance. I can rightly claim yet. That's right. Wait, I th wait. I think that's the girl. Oh, the girl. Is this? A I don't know if it's the girl or the guy. I have no idea. How fair is the investigation? Well enough. Thaladred is sparing no effort. There are many ones, just as you suspected. Their purpose, however, eludes us still. Yeah, I don't know if it's the girl or not. I see. Okay. I have been meaning to ask, but is Alice Dale quite well? I feel as if I have scarcely seen her in the recent days. Oh, you haven't, nor have I. Alas, Alice Dale has chosen to walk her own path. Stubborn girl. Oh, that's the girl. I see. Okay, I got it. Kind of. And on that note, I take my leave of you. I trust the bald... Bald Sion will report to serve you well. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to find out what the bald Sion has in store for me. That's great. I take it we can proceed as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to act. I told you, man. This re I'm, I'm so sick of this kid, dude. I'm so sick of this stupid ass. Push him, push him over. Like, just push him, push him on the ground as you're walking in. Bro, get in my hallway, bitch. Get in my hallway. Quit walking in my hallway, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Throw him in a garbage can. It's good to see you again. Yes, I know that. I've been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in Twelveswood. Owning to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly, you have done the science proud. With that, we can strike Ramua from the list. So what's next? The Sahagin or the Leviathan? The word, the Lord of Warroll has not answered his minion's call as of late, nor is he expected to do so in the future. While Sahagin remain as aggressive as ever. Shit, I don't know why I clicked that. For a time, bears repeating, we can ill afford to fall complacent. That's right. Very true. It says, you a lot of praise. Or sorry, says. Unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict any certainty of when the next primal will return to plague the land. That being the case, we must proceed with as much haste as prudence allows. As much haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The Maelstrom keeps the kobolds under constant observation. We shall hear from them uh, before long. You may depend upon it. Okay, good. 
Indeed, with all the primals that have been known in the, in the recent times, we are left with. Gridania. Wait, I mean Garuda. Who is the primal of Ixal who lived near Gridania. That's what I meant. So many mobs to cover. Would that... Would that there... What? Would there, okay, would there be... Alright, yeah. Were he still with us, we should not be long waited for a more practicable solution. Okay. She's not wrong. Where in the world are you, Chief? Oh, man. But there's sure one step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Sin Seers. I bid you all to enjoy a moment's respite. You have enjoyed it. Got it. Makes sense. So they don't know what to do without the old guy. Oh, nice, dude. This is it. Is there something else? <sighs> Alrighty. Now what? That is true. Beggy pardon? Take off my clothes? What do you mean? Right now? Okay, I guess I will do that. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Nice view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, prior to the calamity, the Eskians take great pain to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? Gods, this bodes ill. We must take advantage of the present law and the primal hostilities and inve inve investigate the Labrida. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to think. Eek. What, what's going on? Tataru? Tataru, no! What's wrong, Tataru? What happened? Oh, no. A sylph in Thalan. This is the same one. Oh my god. At long last, this one finds waking one Asmongold. This one is most dependable to these ones. It is I sent by Elder One Frixo to help the waking ones. The walking ones. Wait, it, Norixia comes to the front. Wait, is this my new battle pet? Oh, wow. We got a new battle pet. Fuck yeah, dude. That's great. Awesome. Or our salad. Yeah, you're right. Enter the Waking Sands. All right, we've completed that. And now what? Speak with Melfina. Again? Okay. Let's talk to her again. I'm afraid that there's no rest for the weary, Asmongold. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man. The Eskina known as Labrida. This is an ideal moment to do so. While our hands are not bound dealing with another primal. As of present, we know little about the Eskians. Only the destruction that follows their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that racks in the realm. And if my fears prove to be reality, we must all do we should do all in our power to stop them. Earlier, I sent word to each grain company to solicit cooperation. The immortal flames responded to the effect that they have information on a potential sighting. I want to explain basically why it was the immortal flames that figured it out. It's because it's the best company, and the other two are full of losers. This is intelligence that we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with Flame Commander Swift in the Hall of Flames and Udala to inquire farther. How you go to the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly to your discretion. But whatever you do, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many precautions, Asmongold. Be safe. Alright, let's fucking do it. Let's get over there. You need a potato? No, I'm not gonna... Listen, I, I, like, the Lollafowls, like, all the other ones, like, listen, that's the reason why I'm okay with the cat girls is because there's something I hate more than them. Like, the cat girls are fine now. Like, it's these other little stupid little fucking things. That, that's what I've got a problem with now, dude. Okay, little Alamigo. All right, let's turn this in. All right, let's talk to Gundo Bald. What does he have for me? Who are you? State your business and be quick about it. Gundo Bald. Working for a mass villain, you say? And why should we help you, pray? We struggle enough without having to answer to the whim of every outsider. You are not welcome here. Be gone. Man, fuck you, Gundo Ball. Okay, let's go up here. So this is the next part of the quest. So who the fuck is this? Uh, Gissel Lambert. Gissel Lambert would like to uh, aid in your manhunt. Okay. Well met, adventurer. I am Gissel Lambert. 
head of security here at Little Alamigo. I heard tell you have business with Gundobald. Knowing that bristly old bear, I don't doubt that he told you to bugger off. Knowing their hardships, refugees don't trust anyone but themselves. Not even my men can get so much as a word of thanks out of them, despite watching the place day and night. But thanks or not, I try to help my fellow man whenever I can. And you seem to be a decent sort. If you tell me what's brought you here, I can be and I can lend you a hand. On a trail of a mass villain, you say? Hmm, can't say that sounds familiar, but I have heard men on the lookout for Amjawa in the south of here. If there's been any suspicious activity, they are likely to have seen it. I've had mine to take each of them with a cup of sweet Thalian tea as to their lift spirits. If you were to run this little errand in my stead, I think they'd be more willing to tell you what they know. Okay, so we have to bribe them with tea. Okay, you can mooksku. Shoo, shoo, don't bother me. If the Amanjala overrun us, I'm blaming you. Jesus. Okay. For me, you shouldn't have. Sorry, a suspicious masked man, masked man. As a matter of fact, I caught a glimpse of someone filling that description during patrol. Well, I couldn't quite make out whether it was a man or not, but what with the mask and the robe, but assuming that it was a he, he was talking with some Alamigans. I assume that he was one of them. Well, shit. Whenever I get to max level, I'm going to get the most badass, the biggest sword in the game, man. 100%. All right, what does Gilbert have for me? Uh, you're back. So do my lookouts have aught to share with you? It doesn't sound like much to go by. If you're to go any further with your investigations, it seems to me that you'll need the cooperation of the Alamegans. Gundobal belongs to the Alamegan resistance, so your best bet would be to, to someone who's part of the same crew. If you know any well-connected people, you might want to start by asking them. Wait. I have to go talk with Milfina? Again? Okay, let's do that. Finally, this is what I've been waiting on. All right, what do you have for me? Welcome back, Asmogold. How fair is the investigation? I see. Given that they've suffered, it's little wonder why all Amigan refugees have lost faith in their fellow man. They have had their homeland taken from them, and for the past two decades, they have seen it remain in the enemy's clutches. To compound matters, none of the three city-states had the means to take in all who were displaced. As a result, a great many Alamegans now live on the margins of society, suffering poverty and discrimination. What more could be done to ease their hardships? I fear nothing short of reclaiming their homeland would be a lasting solution. But let us deal with one problem at a time, returning to the matter of your investigation. It just so happens that there is an Alamegan native am among the Scions. Your Alamegan comrade is la named uh, Herbert. He joined our cause in the hopes that he might find a way to liberate his homeland. While he spares no effort in, towards the endeavor, I have no doubt that he would be glad to assist you. If I recall correctly, Herbert is currently between two missions. Try looking for him in the storage area. We're sitting in the storage room? Okay. All right, let's go talk to Herbert. All right, here we go. If it isn't Asmongold Bald, the Scion's rising star, is there aught I can do for you? Yes, Herbert. What the? What the fuck? If you wish to win the trust of the people of Alamigo, this is a daunting task, my friend, even for our own countrymen. I would like nothing more than help, but I'm afraid that my name no longer carries weight with that lot. I used to be a member of the Alamigan resistance, you see, but I left in favor of joining the Scions. Though my allegiance may have shifted, my purpose remains ever the same. The liberation of Alamigo. Yet whatever reasons I might have, I abandoned my comrades, and they have nothing to do with me. Now, while I have no more friends in the Resistance, I know someone who does. Her name is Abrita. She is a resident in Quarry Mill. Say my name whenever you meet her, and she will not lead you astray. Okay, Johnny Depp. Where do we have to go now? Let's see where this is. Fuck. All right, Abrita, what do you want? Ah, so you want me to introduce you to the Resistance? Ha! Ah, why in hell should I do that? Just give me one reason. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp sent you. All right, worthless horse, son. He abandons his comrades, his woman, and now he has the gall to ask me for a favor? Simply incredible. I mean, huh. I realize Herbert was only doing that whenever he felt was right. He's a good man, and if he trusts you, that's all I need to know. You see the bulk there? That's Mephi, the captain of the resistance. I hope he can give you what you need. All right, let's, oh, wow. A level 24 weapon coffer. Holy fuck. Dude, I'm ready to fucking respec if I want to. Meffin helps. Uh, Meffin helps. Needs help tending a wounded warrior brother. Hey, Meffin. A proud man of the Alamegan resistance. What the hell? 
Look at look at what he's wearing, man. What business do you have for me? He's the uh he's the boss of the gym. Captain, it's Galleon, sir. His wounds are gone fester and he's burning up. I don't think he's got much time. God damn it. I asked the villagers for aid, got on my knees and begged, but they refused to lift a finger. If Galleon dies, his blood is on their hands. These quarry mill cravens would rather turn a blind eye to our plight, but they might as well listen to Abrita. I fear my anger will prevent me from rightly convincing anyone at the moment. I realize we scarce know each other, but this is a matter of life and death. Please, adventurer, go to her and try. Okay. So we've got to go over there and help these guys. So basically, these guys are like refugees, and they're just- they're- they're- they're fucking tired of getting fucked around. Alright, Abrita, what do you have? Come asking about Galen. I watched him leave Cory Mill some time ago. He left me the sealed letter before he went off. Made me swear not to open it until someone came asking. My brothers, I cannot bear to be a burden any longer. That is why I must leave you all. Do not worry for me. Just find your way safely to little Alamigo. What a son of a bitch. What what a what a little what a little son dude, he's he doesn't want to be a burden. That's sad. Out in the wilds alone, that fool, that great, big, sentimental fool. Alright, we're gonna get his ass. And he's fucked up, so he can't get far. Yep, he's right over there. Let's go get his ass. Alright, where is this guy? Oh, there he is. He's just sitting right here. Who gives a shit? He's chilling. Galen's fine. Watch out, a goblin. Like I give a fuck about a goblin, dude. Like I give a fuck about a goblin, dude. What a joke. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get my... I gotta get my food. Okay, good. I had to... I, I had to activate McChicken. Okay, so where's Galen? There we go. Let's talk to him. Oh. 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 Galen. But Captain, why? You should all be on your way. Who do you take us for? We're Alamegans, and Alamegans never forsake one another. Hardships be damned. Unless you were the guy that uh, is in my, my team now, and he just left. Remember the oath we swore, God damn it. The oath to reclaim our homeland. We will set foot on Alamega soil again together. Or not at all. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Let's return our brothers. And don't even think about going off lightly. As soon as you're healed, I'll give you such a thorough thrashing, you'll wish we didn't find you. Oh man, oh man, fuck, dude. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's go over there. We gotta talk to him again. What is going on here? This is crazy. Galen's is going to make a full recovery. We'll linger here until he's strong enough to take the road again. As much as I mislike this place, beggars can't be choosers. That's true. Uh, I don't need these right here. I'm gonna might as well just take that. Alright, Mephred. Wishes to repay your kindness. It's gonna suck my dick. Now that things are relatively settled, I seem to recall that you wanted something of me. You've proven a true friend of my people. Ask of me anything, and it's yours. So long as it's mine to give. The cooperation of the people of Little Amigo. Is that all? Far be it for me to question your desires, of course. Very well. I will provide you with a letter to show Gundo Bald. The old bear was my mentor whenever I first joined the resistance. He's intimidating to those that don't know him, but he takes care of his own. I have no doubt that he will do all in his power to aid you. Damn. Gundo Bald Redemption Arc? There's Gundo Bald. Here we go. Why have you returned? You were not welcome here. I thought I made that clear. Oh yeah, bitch. There you go. You spoke with Nefert. It's been long since I heard from him. I had feared him dead. Twelve be praised. Whoever you are, Melfred sees you as a friend, and any friend of Mefred is a friend of mine. I know this masked stranger you seek, and I will tell you what I can. Shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, I got a mount speed increase. Fuck yeah. Gundo Bald is willing to share what he knows. An outsider resembling the masked stranger has reportedly been appearing near a little Alamigo as late. What's more, that it seems some of our young bloods are meeting him in secret. No doubt that you want to question them about their thrists, but they are not likely to yield information readily to an outsider. If you tell them I sent you, though, they may feel obliged to talk. Alright, let's see what these little dick boys are doing. I actually like this area. I think this area is cool. Yeah, look at that, dude. As I said, I think one of the coolest things is like the, uh, just like the worlds in MMOs. 
Just like the different worlds that people put together and like, wait, oh my God, that's a big boy. Oh my God, these are big boys. Wait, yo, that did a lot of damage. God damn. Okay, let's go over here before I die. Uh, Cole, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the fucking five subs, man. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Rendezvous with Wool Red. Okay, what does he want? Thanks for coming, friend. There's no ordinary outsider that can gain the trust of the old bear. That's why I wanted to meet you and discuss something in private. Tell me, why are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you or someone else? Coral got your tongue, no matter. Wherever you work for, your meddling ends here. Get him. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Like, I'm just trying to chill, man. But what is this? I'm just trying. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help out. These guys are going crazy for no reason. Fuck around and find out. You goddamn right. Let's go. You're stronger than you look. This changes nothing. Threaten us. Beat us bloody if you like. But nothing short of death can make us give up our fight. We're going to obtain the power to bring down the Empire, and with it, we'll reclaim our homeland. Oh! So they're probably talking to the mage, because they think the mage can give them the power to get their homeland back. That's what I'm assuming, okay? Like, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think that's probably what it is. That's what makes sense, at least. Attacked by Woolred and his cronies. That they would go to such lengths for the sake of a plan of theirs. Left at their own devices, the young fools are likely to harm others, if not themselves. We must uncover their agenda and put an end to this madness. Ooh, I got new armor. Okay, Gundobald needs help to rein in the young ones of Little Alamigo. All right, Gundobald, what's the plan? Wolfred mentioned obtaining a power to bring down the Empire. Of what power could he be speaking? Gundobald. All right. Ooh. Britannia. Gods persevere. What happened? I was out foraging when the Corpse Brigade came. They took me to their hideout and they... The whole time they laughed at me. They said I suffer because I cling to hope. Is it wrong to dream of home? Is it wrong to call ourselves Alamegans? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong, I swear to you. These villains will answer to the crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Wilfred. Of fucking course. Well, he's shaking his head. He's like, that son of a bitch. I'll tend to Baratania. Okay. We've got to go get Wilfred. They're making Savas's boobs smaller? Yeah, then we're going to kill her for sure. Big trouble in Little Alamigo. Wilfred last. Riled the youth. If this plan succeeds, we'll have the power to lay the Empire low. To change the world for the better. How do these clowns think they're going to defeat the Empire? The Empire is this massive, huge, mega powerful thing that has like spaceships, and these are just some losers wearing bondage. Wilford's gonna get him killed! What an idiot. Wilford, you fucking moron. Oh, mighty Ralgar, Lord of Destruction, we implore you, lend us your strength and put an end to the suffering of your people. Wait, that's, that's Ralgar? Oh, you're too late. Plan's already in motion. Once you have the crystals, our enemies will pay for our crimes. No one will dare oppress us ever again. Wait, this is my, this is my, uh, wait, that's it? That's my god? He looks like a stick figure with spiky hair. Whatever, dude. Yeah, it looks like Goku, Gundo Ball. Gone, the whole lot of them. It's as I feared. They mean to take matters into their own hands, but what exactly is what they mean to do? All right, let's put these in. What is this, a hunting knife? A map of Xanarak, what? You said Wilfred spoke of crystals, did you not? But how could they possibly mean to... Oh my god. This is rank madness. The young fools are untrained and unblood at all. They have no notion of how dangerous the Amanjala are. They'll all be butchered before they get within a hundred Yalmos of the crystals. They're headed east. If we hurry, we may yet find them before it's too late. Okay. So, what is east? Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, back in the day, before we had... Wait, what the... Who the fuck is that? I can kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Uh, I wanna kill this thing right now. Uh, I wanna kill it. Damn. This is like that thing I fought before. Look at that. He, he was trying to clap me. I like the, uh, the death animation. 
That's actually pretty fucking cool. It's like one of those little things you don't really think about a lot, but every once in a while you want to uh, you want to appreciate it. You know what I mean? Solo kill? Yeah, dude. It is what it is, man. Oh, big trouble in Little Alamigo. Level 31. All right, let's do it. I'm ready to go to work. Wilfred, did no others survive? Uh, uh, we, oh, we, oh, we, we were supposed to, oh, we were supposed to win. Uh, oh, shit, bro. Oh, fuck, man. We, oh, shit. We did it. We fucked up again, man. We was, pull yourself together. We we were just gonna make a, we're gonna fucking summon a fucking dude, summon a guy, or some guy and shit. Is there a, there's a wizard that told me to summon a guy with a rock. They got us. Gods forgive me. Yeah. What an idiot, dude. What a fucking idiot. You shall pay for your crimes with your souls. Is it, are these the big guys? Yep. Those are the big guys. All right, now what? I regret our young one's transgressions, but his soul was too high a price for youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of Alamegan people. This hope I will guard with my life. Damn, Gundobald is ready to go to work. Damn, all right, let's go. I'm ready, let's fight. Let's fight, let's go. It's okay, I'll save it. Boom, there it is, big numbers, big numbers, big numbers. Okay. I talking to boss, I talking to boss. I feel like, uh, I feel like this is like the greatest rotation of all time. You know what my favorite, my favorite part of the rotation is? The fact that there isn't one. I just sit there and I hit the same button. There's no reason for me to change my stance. Why would I want to take damage? Yeah, why would I want to take damage if they could just take damage instead? Fuck that. Wait, who's this? Oh, shit. Okay, we got more dick boys. Okay, let's kill these dick boys. All right, all right, I'm, I'm big dicking. I'm big dicking. I'm big dicking. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Getting out of that. Big dicking. Big di Oh, big dicking. Oh, we are big dicking it. Let's go. Huge dick. Yes, dude. Boom. Get the fuck out of here. Now what? Is that it? Wait, that's it? That's it? Your skill at arms is impressive, adventurer. Our wayward youths could learn much from a man like you. The battle is won, but it would take an unwise to linger here. Let us return to Little Alamigo. Wait, we've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're ripe for the picking. Have you learned nothing, Wilfred? Do you not see those tempered wretches? Such is the fate of those who are touched by God. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? What? No, nobody said anything like that. Oh, Ace told me we summoned a fight. Uh, we summoned a dude. We beat the guy. What? Oh, man. Oh, bro, what? Oh, shit. We're gonna get mind control. Oh. Enough. I'll hear the rest of this sorry tale back at Little Alamigo. I dare say Asmongold will wish to hear it as well. That's right, you little bitch. Yeah, put your head down. Fuck you. No more lies, Wilfred. Tell us everything. Oh, uh, was uh, uh, with the boys, and uh, there he was. He was right there. He told us about summoning the guy, and you had to use the special rocks, and that was it. Huh? That's basically it. Listen to me, Wilfred. Our home might be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who we are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives within us all. It's up to you to decide what to make of this legacy. But whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget that you owe it to this adventurer and outsider. Damn. Damn. I, w I, w I won't do that. Uh, uh, no, I won't do that. Th thanks. I'm sorry for trying to kill you. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks, my friend. Kind souls. Little amigo might have no way of comfort, but you'll always be remembered here. Thank you. Gundo Bald. We fought well together. Gundo Bald wants to wish you well on your investigation. And if we have more information to offer, Wilfred told you the extent of our knowledge to the masked stranger. Left unchecked, the man will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you will find and put a swift end to this creature for the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned wounds.
All right, we've got to go talk to Milfina. Let's see what she's got to say. Welcome back, Asmongold. I'm reliably informed that the investigation took you to the quarry mill in Little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of Lumbria? So I told her everything. Planted the knowledge of summoning in an impressionable young minds, do you say? Precisely the kind of deception that the Assetians would employ. While many of the ills of the land would be attributed to the calamity, some are being brought by a malign will. We must delve deeper into this, while things remain quiet in the primal front. All work and no play makes Milfina a dull scion. Shut up, you little bitch. Go back to work. Did you say something? Nothing. That's right. Yeah, go back in the garbage can. Mayhap we rest a while before speaking further on the investigation. Okay. Milfina has another lead for you to pursue. Tending to business in Thalane, some new information arrived, arrived courtesy of our friends the Sylphs. An individual fitting Zerbia's description has been sighted North Shroud. The sighting comes in wake of a series of mysterious deaths. My instincts tell me that our man is involved. Alright. Let's go back over there. And wait, where the hell is this? Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I have to go talk to the little, uh, I have to talk to the, the salad. What do you want? Waking one is to, walking one is to investigate the sinister one. Then heed this one's words. This one is friends with walking one in the Ash Crown Consortium. According to a friendly one, the digging one named Meldrod had an encounter with a scary masked one. The scary one is almost certainly a sinister one. Walking one should go and speak to the digging one, Meldrod. Digging one is found to be at uh, Falgord Moat in North Shroud. Okay. So let's see where that is. Oh, fuck. I've got to walk over there. The launch was delayed. The raid was on time. Yeah, I thought the raid came out. Because usually, like, I actually tried to start my stream a little bit earlier today. Like, I know I've been trying to... Pu I've been kind of, like, pushing my stream back a little bit. Like, by 10 or 20 minutes. Like, every... Like, I'm really bad at keeping schedules, okay? Like, I'm going to let you guys know this. Like, I am very, very, very bad at keeping schedules. Like, any sort of a commitment where there's, like, you need to be at this place at this time, you can pretty much expect that I'm probably not going to do it right. And, yeah, I'm not a commitment kind of guy. I'm not a reliable kind of guy. I'm a guy that does, uh, I, I do what I do. But to be fair, I am pretty consistent with my streams. And I know that people would tell me, oh, we'll just start later in the day. That way you can wake up earlier. That will, wake up later. That will not happen. Because I will just stay up later. Like, I, I know myself. I used to struggle to wake up in time to do my raid at 8 p.m. Okay? Please leave me be. I'm not long for this world. I just look death in the face, and it's only a matter of time before he comes for me. Just like he came for that poor woman. Melderon is clearly traumatized. Perhaps if you were to soothe him, he might remain calm long enough to hold the conversation. Alright, Melderon. This is the secret sex scene if you, uh, I did slash pet. And so now we have the sex scene. It's bonus. You're right. It's not as bad as it seems. I saw something terrible. That's true. But it hardly means that I'm going to suffer the same fate. Thanks to you, I can think straight again. An emote did all of that? Imagine what those girls did whenever I was able to pet them. God damn. Oh, I probably had to fucking start writing a twit longer, to be honest. I believe whenever I could recount, I saw without losing it. It was just another ordinary day. I was headed back to the float when I noticed a suspicious character in the distance. A masked man garbed head to toe in black. hideous fiend in tow, a winged creature that was all eyeball and jagged teeth. Taken by curiosity, I crept near as I dared, and I saw the corpse of a woman. One glimpse was enough to tell me that she died a gruesome death. In that instance, I knew right away that the masked man was a minion of Thal, come to claim her soul for his realm. What? You're investigating the same masked man? What an amazing coincidence! It's created completely randomly! Wow! If that's the case, we'll help you in whatever way we can. If anything, to ensure that we won't have to suffer Meldorod's hysteria ever again. Alright, teamwork. That's what I wanted. Well, I haven't been that bad, have I? Yeah, you've been acting like a bitch. Uh, Aberdeen has a proposal to make concerning your investigation. Okay, we're gonna get married. How about that? So here's what I know about the deaths. All the victims were found with their faces torn to shreds. Upon the local fauna, only shale scale can, known as Z's, 
could inflict such wounds. That's why some folk are pointing a finger at them. I somehow doubt the answer is that simple, but for the sake of thoroughness, we should look into it. All right, let's do that. So we just want to go randomly out there and just kill three things. Okay, uh, maybe there's one right here. Oh, there's one. All right, let's go after this one here. Come on, come on, tag it, tag it, tag it. Don't you fuck me. Oh, nice, there's another one right there. Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna attack both of them, man. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Let's go for that one, and then I'm gonna get the next one right now. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna waste any time, and I just wanna get these fucking done. Because I, I know, like, how these respawns are sometimes, and I do not wanna deal with that. Okay, we've completed it. Now let's go ahead and port back over. Okay, Aberdeen, what do you have? You've already seen the disease. Good work, adventurer. So you were able to find aught and suggest the creatures of our culprits. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh, nothing. To be trolled, even if they're warproof, I wouldn't know what it looked like. Anyway, if we can safely strike the disease off our list of suspects, that leaves us with the masked man and his winged eyeball. Oh, man. I'm so glad that we had to randomly go kill three mobs to make sure it wasn't obviously the fucking masked wizard that's getting people to kill themselves. Yeah, getting them to unwillingly sign up into a suicide cult. That's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Assuming we japes aside, there's rumor going around. There's some whisper that after each victim died, her rancor went into great big rock southeast of there, causing it to flash and moan. Okay. Uh, is information to share? Okay, let's see that. Using items on areas. Some items are used on areas rather than single targets. First, click on the uh, item icon displayed on the duty list. Upon selecting the item, a glowing radius will appear on the ground that can be moved freely. Locks of rancor. Oh, oh, I see. I see. It's right there. I got it. Okay, some of you should know through. I'm keeping it myself. Lest I worsen Methroth's paranoia, but I too have seen the winged eyeball. I cannot say whether it was a coincidence, but my sighting took place precisely at the same time as Melrod's. I was heading home after a day of digging whenever a shadow fell over me. Looking up, I found myself locked in gaze with a giant eyeball. I let out a scream at the top of my lungs and ran without once looking back. This happened at the rocky area rest of here, in case you had a mind to investigate. All right, let's see what I need to do. Here we go. Where is this? Yeah, let's go right over here. What's my favorite dungeon? Um, that's a good question. I like the second one, where like you're uh, you're releasing those orbs, and then you have to fight the Zoid bird. Oh right, 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 right. Okay. I throw it right there. Oh. Wait, it actually worked. Wow. Fuck yeah, dude. You you sense a hostile presence. Who is it? Oh shit. It's a spider. It's a double spider. What does he do? I cannot wait until, like, these NPCs have more attacks that I have to avoid. I feel like they're too easy. I do. I, I genuinely I feel like these are just so easy for me to beat. Okay. Give me one second. I gotta take a piss. Be right back. Here, 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 here. I'm back. Seeing eye to winged eye. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm so ready to kill this guy. Like, he's been trying to fucking get kids into a suicide cult. Like, what the fuck is that? Alright, here we go. Let's turn this in. And there's the five crystals. There we go. Just your garden variety crystals. It's about hard to tell about dirt and grime, but they're definitely lightning aspected. I almost hate to say it, but this explains the flashing and moaning. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, let's turn this one. A monstrous bane might appeared, and you slew it? The creature had long been a scourge upon the folk of Falgord. Intentional or not, you have done us a great service, and you have my gratitude. But it does make me wonder, was it truly a winged eyeball that I saw, or merely a trick of light combined with a blind panic? Oh, here we go. You guys ready to see the level? There it is, boys. There it is, boys. There it is. We got him. All right, now what? All right, Melrod, what do you got for me? Melrod is troubled by the death of new developments. Troubled by the dearth? Dr what the f- What is that? 
What's that word, bro? I never even heard of that word before. There have been no promising leads in all the murders. I can scarce get a wink of sleep knowing that the killer is still at large. Judging by your furrowed brows, I take it this sorry business troubles you as much as it does me. I've been pondering my encounter. I was uncertain for a time, but there can be no doubt. It was a winged eyeball that I witnessed. It's implausible that I could have been mistaken so distinct a creature for a bane might. But you and I were moms apart. How could we have both seen it at precisely the same time? What do you mean? How is this even a question? There's two of them. Like, why would you not just assume that there's just two of them? What's more, our adventurer friend had a run-in with a bane mite at the very spot that you claim to see the fiendish eyeball. Isn't that right? There must be an explanation. I know I saw a wing, uh, an eyeball with wings. I would wager an apple tart on it. Well, that's not very good. That's like a dollar. You get those at McDonald's. It's on the dollar menu. Listen, he's serious. No, he's not. Sit down. Guys, of course, there must be more than one of the buggers. But fucking obvious. Are you guys so dumb? We really got to talk through this? Does we really got to have to go through all this? What the fuck, dude? And now they all look at me. We're out of our depth. We ought to leave the rest to the expert. That's me, by the way. Yes, we're just civilians after all. Good luck, adventurer. It was a pleasure knowing you. Wait, what the fuck? Lest you have forgotten, there's a rocky area in the west. Okay, should you have to discover my note, you want to alert the authorities, there's a guardhouse nearby. Okay, we're gonna beat his ass. You guys ready? Is it ass beating time? I think it is. Let's go to work. Let's see here. And we'll go turn this in. Mangled. Ah, oh, man, I think I see it. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew it. Yep. Damn. It should have been a floating dick. Maybe it wouldn't have died so fast. What a joke. Yeah, that was nothing, man. That's really what they've been having so much trouble with. I killed that bitch in three hits. What a joke, dude. Yeah, that's no problem. Made a, um, a, a blizzard, giant dick. I, honestly, blizzard would probably never do anything like that. Like, they are so... They're so afraid of, of having somebody get offended by their game. Like, I bet they would not even do, like, a blizzard would never do the fat chocobo because fat people on Twitter would complain that it's making fun of them. I I'm not even kidding. Greetings, adventurer. Is there odd I might want to assist you with? Yes. Gods be good. Not again. No matter how many bodies I see, it cannot seem to get used to the poor sight. Poor woman. Identical deaths have been reported with Central Shroud. The mass stranger you see does not seem to feature any. Fuck, dude. The, the, oh, they're moving the bodies around. Okay. This button engraved with the lily motif. The very same object was found upon another victim. A family sigil. Or that of an organization, perhaps? Either way, I dare to hope that this find will prove pivotal in solving the murders. Big fucking... Big dick fucking experience. Ooh, big dick experience. I want you to hold on to the button. I want you to hold the lily button. You'll need it to continue your investigation. Well, it isn't standard procedure to entrust key evidence to individuals. I am obviously the uh, sole uh, protagonist of the story. And so all of the rules in the game are bent around me because I have plot armor. Yes, I'm fully aware of that. Make a suggestion. Take the button to Gridania and have it examined by Minyumwa. Minyumna. Let's go ahead and do that. Mother Minwune. Greeting good morrow to you, Asmongold. By your grim expression, I suspect you aren't here for scones and herb tea. Well, actually, I would I would be okay with the scone. That would be fine. Alright, there's the lily button. Well, isn't this a quite lovely little lily button? The engraving is quite exquisite. Artisan level quality, I would say. What did you say you found this? On a dead body? Lovely. Anyway, I'm afraid that I did not look, recognize the lily sigil. You would have to find the answer the old-fashioned way by asking around. All right, let's go ask the other NPC. Where's the next one? She's over there. Let's go. I like the music here. The music is nice. It's relaxing, calming, chill. All right, let's see what Bernadette has to say.
Need help tracking down the owner of a button? That's certainly not a request that I receive on a regular basis. Well, go on. Show me what you have. Okay. Seems like some manner of decorative button, reminiscent of those worn by families of old, though I cannot claim to know its sigil. However, I can say with certainty that the white lily is a recurring theme in Gardenian culture. I do not know who would make a personal sigil of it. If there is a soul in Gardenia, who knows? It will be Singalwood over at the Lancers Guild. See, I need to talk to that guy pretty soon anyway, because I need to learn how to do that shit. Like, I want to be... I, I want to learn how to do the Lancer stuff. Now, I don't know when I'm going to do that, though. Like, I think that I'll probably do that once I get to, like, 50 or something like that. Servers are up. Holy shit. Boys. Is it time for us to raid? Is it time for us to fucking raid? Oh my god. Give me one second. Fuck yes, dude. Give me one minute. One, one minute. Let me double check here. I'm gonna see if I can log in. Seeing if I can log in. Before I get, uh, before I get ready. Okay, let's see real quick. Come on. Never seen a WoW raid? Well, you're about to. How the fuck do I- Alright, guys, listen up. I'm making the raid right now. We are making the raid right this second. Gentlemen, let's fucking go.